zwei Strich Steuerbord voraus. Was für Dampfer? Schwedische Leute. Stopp ihn. Auftauchen. Auftauchen. Contraband? No. Right. I'll see the cargo first, then I'll look at your passengers in their cabins. They can remove their life belts. Everybody to their cabins! Remove your life belts! Everybody to your cabins! Remove your life belts! When did you leave Holland? On the 14th. You say you're a Dutchman. You have my passport? But this, this isn't genuine. What, what, what do you mean by that? all about you. You're not a Dutchman, you're a Belgian. And this is your last trip. Take him away. But you can't do this. I'm Dutch, I tell you. I'm Dutch. I'm a neutral subject. I'm Dutch, I tell you. I never was in Belgium in my life. Good I'm Dutch. You can't I'm neutral. That man. This is a neutral ship and he's a Dutchman. You have no right to take a passenger off a neutral ship. Every right. The man is a spy. Your name? Madeline Goddard. This lady's passport. Madeline Goddard, Swiss. In order. One, two, three, four, five. Why do you make so many trips between Stockholm and Paris? For business. How long has this business been going? Three years, since January 1915. What is the business? Ladies' dresses. My new season's models. Yeah. I suppose you might class this as ammunition for the Stockholm front.
loveliest things we've ever had in the shop. They're French. Paris. At least you can claim a success at something. Something that even a German brain can appreciate. Oh, Madame, am I to be insulted like this? Is it a crime to be German? It's worse. It's a vulgarity. Colette, I will not have this quarreling. I don't want French women here. Huh. Nor German women. I want saleswomen. Ring for Anatole. Anatole, have you swept up this morning? Assuredly, madam. Mm. Anatole. What can one do with a broom as bare as the behind of the Burgomaster's baby? Show it to me. The broom. Certainly, madam. And take this. We're going to the Countess Lindestrom. My hat and cape, please, Maud. You see, madam. Yes. I can see that it must have taken a lot of hard work to reduce it to this condition. Get your cap. Perhaps I should render more satisfaction with a mechanical sweeper such as are used in the better shops. For me. Will you go right in, please? Thank you. Good evening, gentlemen. Some new models have arrived. The latest Paris fashions? The latest French designs. Charming. Charming. Very nice. Eight. Eight. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Sixty-three. Sixty-three. West Verdun. West Verdun. Seventy-one. Seventy-one. Eighty-three. Eighty-three. Ninety-one. Ninety-one. West of Chateau Thierry. To West of Chateau Thierry. Have you got it? Madeleine, what was that last number? Ninety-one. Ninety-one. Good. Disposition of the third and fourth French army group. Send it off. Navy blue, picked out with stars and finished off with stripes. American troop transport? Bill. Mm. 
Madeline, you're a very charming young woman, but you're a very expensive luxury. Charming young women are. And they give you something you can't get from anyone else. Oh, if it were only for me, I wouldn't cavil. Ah, oh, Major, if it were only for you, I wouldn't charge. But I'm responsible to headquarters. And I'm responsible to my partners in Paris, who are risking their lives and mine. All right. I'll send the check. Thank you. Regiment of the line for examination. Have him in. Oh. All right, Tom. Hello. How are you, my dear Muller? Very glad to be back, General. I expect so. How do you know? Well, what news? I got seven days leave in Paris. Good. And then? That's all. Well, where were K-1, 2, 4, and 5? I wish I knew. I have a strong notion that I was under observation myself. Our system needs drastic reorganization, especially in the neutral countries. Slessor, you take over Copenhagen and understand this. You'll be judged by results. And for Stockholm, we need the best man we've got in Section 8. That's so. Dr. Muller, you are a physician. Yes. You've come to Sweden for the German medical service. To look after our prisoners returning from Russia. You signed an undertaking at our consulate in Berlin to refrain from any political activity. Certainly. It is my duty to remind you of that undertaking. And welcome to Sweden. Thank you. Good morning. Baron Karl Marwitz from Hohenhau in Württemberg, landowner. Captain in the German Navy. Mm -hmm. Yes, von Marwitz. Political undertaking signed. You're welcome in Sweden, but only so long as you refrain from any political activity. <laughs> I came to Sweden because I want to refrain from any political activity. You're on sick leave? Yes. Wounded? Twice. Your leave expires in two weeks. I'm not going back. How long have you the means to support yourself here? Oh, uh, 16 years. 20, if I'm careful. This is a very serious matter, Baron Marwitz. Very. If you would just look at these. You can stay in Sweden as long as you respect our laws. Thanks, please. Thank you. Water. Watches, clocks, toys, cigarettes, liquor, anything to declare? Only my intention to finish this. Score. <laughs> Can you tell us what a Russian girl would say if you kissed her? Yes. Or a Dutch girl? Of course. Oh, that's too easy. That's what a Brazilian girl would say. Certainly. Ah, that's where we've got you. Why? Let's go. Oh, Lupita. Lupita. Get her. 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 Yeah. Shall I come up? No, Bob. I'll be down in a minute. My British evening has called for me. Then don't miss a moment of it. Goodbye. Clever girl, that. Probably our best worker. Yes. She has an innocent face. <laughs> That's the key of her success. 
How long has she been with us? Three years. You double checked her story? Naturally. She comes from a lawyer. Father's property destroyed to make defense fortifications on the Swiss Italian border. A volunteer? Not exactly. I was responsible. There you are. <laughs> Oh, come on, it's only a game. You'll spoil it all. Yes, I am. Oh, yes, Not bad, but you need practice. <laughs> there you are. You're short of practice. <laughs> Lopita, Baron Marvitz. Goodbye, Baron. Don't be discouraged. Well, what are you laughing at? Well, the bloke in the bar just pulled the most amazing stunt. Well, what was it? He writes down in advance what any girl will say after he kisses her. Does he get it right? Every time. Oh, shut oh, up. Yes. yes. How on earth could he do that? Well, there are probably only about a half a dozen things a girl of that kind will say. Yes, but how does he get the right one? I imagine he writes them all down on slips of paper and fills his pockets before he comes out. <laughs> One, two, three, one, 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 one. Six martini rice. Right? Mm, yes, yes. Mm. Oh, yes. Liar, cheat, trickster. Not the cheat. Here's another one. Give it to me. But but it it is. You can fool your pizza, huh? What do you charge for lessons? More, please. You've done this before. I wish you'd teach my husband. What have you to say? It starts. did you find me out? It was Madeleine. Madeleine? Who's Madeleine? One of your cows? Oh, no. She's a shop. Very chic. Look, there she is. Dancing with the English boy. This is one of the times I'm sorry I left that arm in France. You're doing pretty well with the one you've got. Oh, that's Madeleine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Was I engaged as an engine driver? No. Do I get an engine driver's wages? <laughs> Assuredly not. Come along, clumsy. Who are you to give me orders? She can't help it, Anatole. It's her German blood. I happen to be Viennese. Same thing in Wolf time. Sauerkraut. Frog's palm. Gertrude. Cull it. I will not have my shop turned into a bear garden. I'm sick of the French and I never want to see a German again. Then I'd better go. Oh, no, please come in. I was only trying to prevent my shop being turned into a battlefield. What can I show you? Oh, just a bag. Gertrude, show madame a bag, will you? What kind of a bag, madame? An evening bag. That'll do, Anatole. How about this, madame? It's one of the nicest we have in the shop. Carl, do you like this? Charming. Lie there, you roaring beast. That's the dress, the shoes, stockings, hair ornament, and the bag. They match the bag beautifully, madame. Dress, shoes, stockings, hair ornament, and the bag. And this way to our fitting room, please. You have marvelous saleswomen, hmm? They do their best. We are better than that. 
The girl comes in for a bag and goes out with the whole shop. A girl who goes out shopping with a man means to have the whole shop. Uh -huh. How much do I owe you? By the way, why did you give away my little trick last night? Because you came to know such a lot about women. Do you? Enough to realize I know nothing about them. Which means that you've had a lot of experience. Oh, a lot. But what does it amount to? 1,275 kronen. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you a very good customer today. He doesn't care how he spends his money. Oh, one has only to look at Madame to see that. <laughs> You won't give away my next trick so easily, I promise you. Send the things to the Grand Hotel at once, please. Certainly, madam. Au revoir, Madeline. Carl, I have bought everything I want. Have you? I'm afraid you are right. And what is more, my father was a Brazilian general. Don't believe that, I suppose. Do I do I do? Oh, no, you don't. You think I'm lying. Will you please convince the lady outside? Go on, call me a liar. Go on, say it. You dare. All right. Get out. Go to your shopkeeper. That's the first sensible thing you've said. May I tell you how very sorry I am for what happened today? Oh, don't apologize. We keep a shop, and it's open to everyone. Plain women or dazzling beauties. Goodbye. Goodbye. And if you could ever take pity on a lonely man, <laughs> don't laugh at me. Dine with me. I'm sorry, I can't. You would be doing a great kindness. I live in a desert. Packed with dazzling beauties. Excuse me. Hello? Is that you, Bob? Tonight at 7.30. At the Grand? No pity. I'm sorry. All right, Bob, at 7.30. All right, Madeline, you're an angel. What do you think? I don't know. She's from a lawyer. Her father's farm was destroyed to make way for Swiss frontier defenses. I'll double-check all that when I get to London. She's a sweet thing, and I hate to suspect her. But she's got a lot of German friends. She's got a lot of French friends. One or two English friends. Yes, I know. That's what's got me guessing. See what you can find out at the cherry orchard. What do you know about it? Carl Malthus. Treated with a fatherland. Deserter. Court martial during absence. Cashiered. Sentenced to death. Funny. Doesn't look that type. What makes you think so? Instinct. Feminine instinct? Professional. What do they think of the cherry orchard? I haven't inquired. Will you?
dying. I don't know anything about Marbots. What do they say about the Swiss girl? Plenty. It'll cost you 50. Page. It's the Baron Marvitt's room. Here it is, again. What happened to the Baron? Hmm. You may well ask. I've never seen such a change. How do you mean, change? Change of habit, that's what I mean. It used to be all girls with no clothes. Now it's all clothes with no girls. Pity. Nice. Oh, I'll have this one for my collection. You can't. Oh, no, they've just arrived from Paris, and Madame will want to show them to our best customer. I am your best customer. Oh, no, you're not. Now it then, is... will you pack this one? This one? And this one for the Countess Lindstrom? Yes, Madame. What's left for me? Everything else in the shop. All right. Pack it up. Come on. This nonsense must stop. Buying things you don't want, just an excuse to come here. You won't come out with me? I won't sell you anything else. That means you forbid me to come here. Precisely. All right, Madeleine. I lose. No, Carl. You win. Tonight? All right. I have a feeling I should be sorry for this. Colette, tell her until I'm ready, will you? Yes, madam. <laughs> You're a shrewd one. No, I don't claim to be any cleverer than the next man. And the next man's always a bigger fool than I am. Now then, lazy bones, you've got to go out with these frocks. Frocks? What do they want frocks for? Big Leaf was good enough for Eve, and she was the first lady in the land. Mm. Gertrude, I've forbidden the Baron to buy another thing. So mind your firm with him. Goodbye. Goodbye. I knew she'd put a stop to this one day. Well, no lady would ever accept presents from a man anyhow. Well, of course not. Oh. Oh, my favorite scent. Well, every woman has her price. And what might that be? This is an expensive shop. <laughs> Three, four. Three, four. Eight, seven. Eight, seven. Four, two. Four, two. Four, two. Probable date of offensive, 20th. Tanks to be used on a large scale. General line of attack, northwest. Marne salient. Excellent, Madeleine, excellent. Headquarters have been clamoring for news of the counteroffensive, and we are the first to give it. For immediate dispatch, sir. Mark it urgent. Madeleine, I'm proud of you. Have we got a jet? Finishing now.
successful rival. Oh? The gallant Baron. Is that all? That's all. What did you find out in London? Nothing definite. But I've got a call to make. Give me the police. Are you still sorry you came out with me that first evening? Yes. That's why I've been out with you 13 evenings since. <laughs> and you've discovered all the secrets of my dark soul. Go on, tell me all about Anne. It is easy to touch your pocket, but difficult to touch your heart. True. Manners, good. Milk? Thank you, Black. Intentions, lamentable. How true. When you're with one woman, you're thinking of the next. You've never been simple, sincere, loyal or faithful to any woman in your life. Go on. Isn't that enough? You forgot my most important asset. What's that? That you love me. Why are you trying to resist? You won't succeed. How do you know I won't? I tried, but I couldn't. I want to take you away, away from your friends, your business. No time for anyone but me. You want to take everything? And give everything. And share everything. Mustn't you if you marry? You're wanted at police headquarters. You identify the man? Do you know anything of his life? Only that he was a most faithful and devoted servant. Quite. In business hours. But you had no reason to suspect him of pro-German activities. How could I? He hated them. 
Some interesting German correspondence was found on him, however. Uh, let me see, Miss Goddard. You are Swiss, aren't you? Yes. I suppose you have dealings with a good many Germans, don't you? I have clients of all nationalities. And yet you had no idea that the faithful and devoted Anatole was a spa. She's already said she... Silence, had... please. I beg your pardon. Is it necessary to distress the lady any further? I'm sorry to press the question, but I must have all the information you can give the court. Willingly. But I can only tell you that I've lost a friend. Thank you. That is all for the present. Do you know who did it? Possibly someone from the cherry orchard. It's terrible. Something much more terrible has happened. It was all lies. What? Your information about the French counteroffensive. 